the world knows what is being done to Africa is unacceptable. I remember when I started speaking to what France was doing to Africa, and I highlighted the part for the continuation of colonization. I was once talking to a class at one of the universities and one of the students was French. Even as late as last year, he asked a question and he said, Ambassador, I grew up in France and we were taught that the Africans were not civilized and that the French went to Africa to civilize the Africans. Europe is a garden. We have built a garden. Everything works. It's the best combination of uh, political freedom, economic prosperity, and social cohesion that the humankind has been able to build. There's three things together. The, the rest of the world, and you know very well, Federica, is not exactly a garden. The rest of the world, most of the rest of the world, is a jungle. And the jungle could invade the garden. And the gardeners should take care of it. And his realization was that black people have nine segments, which is the highest gene segment. The second race, I won't mention their color, they don't look like us. Their gene segment is six, mm. and then five. Wow. Blacks have and the nine. highest gene segment. Clearly more intelligent. Yeah. I can't help it, it is the facts. Just like they denied for far too long that life began in Africa. They wanted to make sure we got to prove that black people are inferior. And they went high and low, looked everywhere, turned every rock they could turn, and they still came back to the <laughs> same place. Life, as we know it, yep. began in Africa. Mm. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. They're the same ones who came up with the gene segment issue. Mm. But what they do is they don't want to bring it all out and make sure it's in our history books. But whose fault is that? We're still using the old colonial yep. textbooks that intentionally yep. eliminated facts that would have brought us up more empowered and proud mm -hmm. as Africans. They put in there anything to demoralize us, everything to make us feel everything European is better right. and everything African was bad. Whose problem is it? We get ministers of education who have the freedom and the liberty to change the colonial textbooks, but they don't. Right here in Ghana, my daughter, I was shocked to realize not a single Kwame Nkrumah book is required reading in Ghana school system. Can you believe that? Mm. Not one. So who is stupid? With all the intelligence and all the gene segments, we behave in a very stupid way. What are our ministers of education doing? What stops them from changing the educational curriculum in Africa? Nothing, except they're still suffering from the legacy of colonization. Mm -hmm. Our ministers of finance, everybody knows it. We are paying for frivolous loans mm -hmm. that go back, in some cases, to colonization. And, they, and yet they go to the World Bank every year, twice. Why aren't you challenging the World Bank to say, World Bank, we're coming together as African mini ministers of finance, and we're telling you, here is an open letter. We are no longer going to pay for these loans. These loans have been paid for a thousand times over. Mm. Why are we getting 20% interest rate? We have never defaulted on our loans. Greece defaulted on its loans. Let's look at how much Greece That's is getting. Pay. What yeah. interest rate is Greece getting? We have never defaulted on our loans. Many African countries have never defaulted on their loans. And yet, the rating agencies give them poor ratings so they can justify charging them mm. high interest rates. Mm. It was all by design. See how people are defining Africa. There are those who have been told that Africa is a continent for exploitation. Have you heard about the Pope's statement when he said that uh, in Italy, Africa is defined 
are the continent or the land for exportation. So the young people in Italy are grow to know that Africa is where you can go and exploit. In France, you see, people are saying that, and they are taught in schools, that Africa is a continent uh, where you can go and help them to be civilized. Africa is uncivilized continent. So France is coming here, not to exploit, but it is to, uh, to, to civilize African people. That is not true. Africa was civilized since then. All of us, we know about the Great Mali Empire, the Kush Empire. Africa has civilized since then, but after colonialism, everything was destroyed. That is the reality. And we are here to tell others the truth. When people saying Africa is a jungle, it's because Africa is a preserving environment. If there's a place where environment are preserved well, it's Africa. Africa we grow trees, we plant trees like this you see around, we grow crops, and yet we produce organic foods. That when you go to the uh, supermarket in America, in Europe, in China, the same food that are supposed to be eaten by Africans, that is uh, organic food, are very expensive. But when they come to our homeland, where we produce such kind of food, people are saying you are living in the jungle, you are supposed to be civilized. How is it come that the food that you buy at high cost in supermarkets, when you come to Africa, you change the story? That is what the world is telling us. But all in all, let us change the narrative. Let us speak the truth about our mother continent. We have blessed, as you see around, Africa is, has everything. Africa is so beautiful. You don't need to have hair condition. You, we, uh, we breathe uh, a fresh air. Everything is nice, beautiful, as you see. So my dear brothers and sisters, don't be cheated about Africa. Africa is a continent that needs the people of Africa to invest, to do activities, and to change the narrative. Yes, you see, still we are using colonial uh, syllabus. How can we teach our young men and women the true narrative about the continent of Africa? If we have failed to change our curriculum, our curriculum are still colonized. We must change and we have to change this now. It's our duty, the current relation, to tell our young men and women the true story about the continent of Africa. That Africa is exploited, not because maybe our people are poor, because there are the systems that are put in place to make sure that the people of Africa should not invest in home, should not invest in their minerals, should not add value. But what they, they, they should do is to, to produce a lot of materials for other civilizations. And that is what is happening nowadays in Africa. Yeah. We are famous for using uh, raw materials for others. We are famous for using uh, cheap labor. So the human capital that are in Africa must be managed well so that they can add value to African resources. They can uh, had positive changes to our mother country. We are busy running so away from our primary anchor. Two words to comment on I was how attending we can an event. Tell our own stories, how we can change and the young men the that are how we can speak positive about our mother. An African man. So we don't feel well introduce as himself as a Frenchman. Let me say thank you for your time. Please join with us with subscribe. There was a performer. Another videos, African and also we hope introduce himself as a European with us through comment section. Thank you. There are more Africans who would rather be French than African. There are more Africans who would rather be British than African. I have been disrespected by my own people. Many of you, you have stories to tell. You go home to Africa. You are disrespected. I was at the airport. I just wanted somebody to carry my luggage, the porter. And there were many of them. I called the young man. I said, help me with my luggage. You got the porter jacket. 
The minute I turned around, he was gone. It happened three times. So finally, I went to the manager. I said, what is going on? I just need a port. I need help with my luggage. He says, Ambassador, we have a problem with this. They are waiting for the plane that's getting ready to arrive from Britain. They prefer white people. They tip them better. Ah.